Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the uh, kind of like some league updates with what's been going on with the character. So uh, really enjoying the Death's Oath character right now. We are level 93. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to hit my goal of 10k ES, mainly because a lot of the jewels I'm trying to find are just not available uh, in the hardcore economy. So I may actually have to craft them. I'm still trying to upgrade this 32 jewel to like a 47 plus. Uh, since that'll be like 200 plus, oh, well, maybe like 170 ES to our uh, our maximum. And then with Darkseer, that'll be 9k, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and I pretty much have to upgrade majority of these jewels here. They're just a bit difficult because some of them are paired with like attributes as well. Uh, but they're like 20 to 35 maybe. So I could get some pretty big energy shield upgrades. Um, I did actually finally find somebody who had a despair effect helmet so i'm super excited to use this uh it shouldn't be too difficult to craft considering our current helmet is only 220 es uh we've got like 70 alex 70 scours 90 chaos so we should be good to go for crafting this and this should boost our map clearing by quite a bit since it's going to increase the um the uh minus chaos, chaos res and i believe even the multiplier that they take so super fucking excited to use this piece of gear um yeah, our wealth is kind of accumulating. Not that it really matters too much because, like, the league is ending. I also found a bug, uh, which I don't know if I even... Can I even, like, show this? I'll, I'll show it in another video. But I found a bug today on stream where there's a sextant mod, actually. Um, there's a sextant mod. Where is it here? Area contains monsters. No, area contains monsters that convert when killed. When you run this map with Death's Oath, it actually causes like an infinite loop on the totems that are killed, and it pretty much causes your client to like freeze and shit itself uh, because it's like infinitely looping the degen of Death's Oath, even though the monsters are allies. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll probably post like a 20 second video clip of it after, uh, maybe tomorrow when I get it. But uh, it kind of sucks because I can't run my shape toxic sewers right now because the game's broken. <laughs> so uh, we'll probably go back to like doing something else. Um, I also did have another character in mind. Um, not that I plan on stopping this guy, but you know, it's always fun to theory craft. That's part of the fun of PoE. And I wanted to really play around with some of like these new uniques because, you know, they're not going to be as prominent next week. If, you know, they may even disappear temporarily for a little bit. So um, I wanted to try out Shimmerons. And uh, the reason why I wanted to play Shimmerons is, as you guys know, I have played quite a few trap builds. Uh, but not recently. Recently, I've been playing more mine-style builds. And by using mines and or traps with Shimmeron, you actually completely negate the damage taken if you have crit recently. So basically, by going arc mines or even like frostbolt mines, uh, ideally leaning towards arc mines, you completely negate this. Now, of course, when you're playing hardcore, it is a bit scary to kind of drop your shield. But if you play it as CI and you think about it, uh, I can show you guys my tree here in a second. It's actually going to be really cool because I'm currently playing a CI character with Death's Oath. So I'm sacrificing a chess piece and I still have 8.3k and I can go even higher on the ES. The plan that I, tr or what I plan on doing is I plan on going Trickster with dual Shimmerons because Trickster gives us a flat 250 energy shield, uh, which literally replaces a shield like... 250 ES is probably like a 25 chaos shield, uh, which is like honestly pretty decent. And then here we get two uh, 60, well, we get an 8% max ES and another 8% max ES. So we'll be a CI character. Um, we get one extra power charge, which is pretty good for Shimmerons, considering Shimmerons are completely based on power charges. So we get the critical strike multiplier, the critical uh, chance, the spell block, along with lightning damage to spells. So that's like super crazy. Because we're playing a mine build, we're gonna be heavy on the mana cost. So Weave the Arcane will pretty much give us 8% reduced damage taken every time we cast a mine, if not every other mine. Uh, so this will be another source of damage mitigation. And I'm actually really excited to use Trickster like this. Uh, a lot of the times when I play Trickster or when I want to play Trickster, I tell myself, well, for my builds or my play style, it's pretty much better to go Occultist because you're pretty much matching ES versus ES and Occultus has like Wicked Ward and Vile Bastion and Trickster has more like evasion scaling and just it's a bit different. But finally, I feel like I've really made a build that takes full use of Trickster uh, kind of in an interesting way. So I'm excited to see how this works out. 
Now, I would otherwise be playing this as a sab because I personally really like the multipliers you get and like, for example, the 10% penetration. Uh, you also get things like a chance to trigger an additional, um, sorry, is it a chance to trigger no, this one? There we go. 20% chance when placing a mine to place an additional mine and you get the arming speed and you get a ton of mine laying speed. Unfortunately, we don't really get much mine laying speed with this build. Uh, so instead, we've picked up every single mine laying node on the tree. So we do have all of the laying speed, which is really not that much uh, in total. What is it here? 10, 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 plus 8, what is that? 26. 26 uh, makes, what, 32? 32, 32, so that's, what, 40 laying speed? Does it show it on here? I mean, of course it would show. I just don't know what it's under. General? Trap? Oh, it would be in here. 40% mine link gun. Thank God I didn't fuck that up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see how that guy works out. Now, I also have this ring that I've been trying to like sell for the whole league, but looks like I'm going to end up using it. Uh, the Elder Mod ended up rolling Crit Multi, and then we've got ES. What is it? T2 ES? Uh, T... I'm stupid here. T3 ES. It's still pretty good for ES, though. Um, so this will be a nice complement to it as well. And I don't really know much else in what we're going to use with the build. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice too many things, and uh, you, it's just a work in progress, really. Uh, other than that, I don't really think I've done too much. I guess to talk about our Atlas and what we're going to be doing, um, I probably am going to plan on shaping Waste Pool, is it? Yeah, Waste Pool here, which will be our Tier 14, and we'll probably run this, and I'll see how far we're going to go until we get bored of the League. So far, I'm just chilling. I'm having a really good time. Uh, I'm kind of really curious of what they're doing next league they said that next league is going to be based around ascendancy and along with ascendancy it's going to be skill tree changes i think uh, i don't know exactly i have to go look at the information again but i really want to play like the most of what i can with uh i guess the ascendancy classes now before they get reworked i hope they actually like make a big change and it's not just like minor buffs and nerfs i know that may be asking a lot considering they've been just pumping out expansion after expansion after expansion i just think it would be cool to see some more customization uh so i hope that like this next league is really tailored towards um not necessarily like power creep and new content but more like revisiting what we currently have and allowing us to make different choices you know um, cause that's, you know, the main thing I, I came to Path of Exile four or five years ago originally was like, my buddy was like, Hey man, you should check out this game, press P and I press B and I'm like, Oh my, you know, I want to have like that feeling again. I realize that's very difficult to like recreate, but I I'm curious to see what they're going to do because this passive tree has been, has been uh, not necessarily the same for the longest time, but, um, the standard has been the same, right? Like all of the ways you would navigate through the passive tree have pretty much been the same. Except, like, I think they've fucked with this area at some point, and they messed with this area. And they've done changes over time, but I'd like to see, like, you know, maybe, like, six months to a year down the line, uh, like, a complete revamp of the passive tree. In some type of way, maybe, like, 40% of it, but maybe I'm asking for too much. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you guys are doing this late into the league, and maybe you guys want me to do anything. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much about it, so I'm out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. But remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Take care, everybody.